Alleluia. As long as you're born again, you have the mind of Christ. As long as you are born again, you no longer think like the world thinks. You no longer act like the world acts. Why? Because the Bible says in in 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16, For who have known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Christ. By the virtue that you believed in Jesus, by the virtue that you accepted Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life, you took upon the same mindset that he was with. And which is this mindset that I'm talking of? When you read Philippians chapter 2, Philippians chapter 2, the Bible says, let this mind be in you. So it means as Christians, we have we 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 should surrender we should come to the place of walking not just with the understanding that we are born again but with an, the understanding that it is given to us to have the mind that was with our savior jesus christ and that's why the bible says let this let allow allow this mind to be in you which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. This is the mind of Christ. As long as you have the mindset of Christ, service will never be an issue. Walking in humility will never be an issue an issue thinking of others or bringing others before yourself will never be an issue selflessness is the true mark of them that bear the mind of christ but it all begins from the place of let this mind be in you we are christians and that means one of the things that should be so clear when i look into your life is christ likeness when christians were first called christians it is because everything that was with christ was seen evidently in them christ likeness is not just seen or is not just mentioned it is actively and evidently seen by them that have allowed the same mindset that was with jesus christ to overtake their lives in the name of jesus christ how do you do this because we are living in a fallen world though we are in this world the scriptures is clear we are not of this world and that is why the apostle paul says i beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of god that he present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is a reasonable service and then he says and be not conformed to this world so this world is 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 able to make one go according to its patterns he says and be not conformed to this world it means this world has patterns but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god what does he say be but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind by the renewing of your mind that's how transformation comes by the renewing of your mind the bible says that he may be that he may be able to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god you are able to know that which is acceptable before god that which is perfect towards God that which is the perfect will of God and is acceptable is good towards him how by renewing your mind which brings transformation how do you renew your mind the mind that you have how do you renew it that constantly you should stick to that which Christ had it is through the word of God it is through the word of God the word of god is a renewing agent the word of god is a renewing agent le boza le comba mi da le vonda le cosa in brados le kibradish res le vidia gadi the bible says in john 15 verse 3 you are already clean because of the word i have spoken to you you are already clean because of the word i have spoken to you 
and Jesus Christ speaking in John 17, 17, he says, Sanctify them by thy truth, thy word is truth. Sanctify them by thy word, your word is truth. Sanctify them by thy truth, thy word is truth. This is how we renew our mindset. This is how we renew our mind through the word of God. In Psalms 119 verse 9, when you read from verse, from verse 9 all the way to verse 16, the Bible says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking he thereto according to thy word. With my whole heart have I sought thee, or let me not wander from thy commandments. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I may not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of my mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies, as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and, ha- and, and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Why? Because the word of God cleans. The word of God purifies. You're already clean because of the word I've spoken to you. Jesus Christ tells the disciples. And he prays, sanctify them by thy truth. Your word is truth. The only way we'll renew our minds to the place of being purified through and through is by staying on the word, is by being in the word, is by meditating the word. Therein lies our transformation. In Jesus' name.